Hey everyone, welcome back. So the big reveal for Linkin Park's latest event finally happened. And there's a lot to unpack. We got a small live show, a brand new single called The Emptiness Machine, a new album announcement from Zero, and they even teased an upcoming mini world tour this fall. The biggest headline, of course, is that Linkin Park has a new lead vocalist, Emily Armstrong from Dead Sarah. And yeah, we guessed wrong about 21 pilots, Bonnie Fraser or Lizzie Hale being involved. But we did get one thing right. Rob Borden might be missing from this event. And it turns out he's actually left the band. Speaking of Rob, in the Billboard interview, Mike Shinoda confirmed Rob's decision to leave. He mentioned that Rob had started pulling away from the band a few years ago. So it wasn't a huge surprise when he decided not to return for this new project. Mike said it was already apparent. He was starting to show up less, be in less contact, and I know the fans noticed it too. It's sad to see him go, but I totally get it. He wants to focus on what makes him happy. And of course, we all wish him the best. Now, Colin Britton has stepped in as the new drummer. Mike also shared that he'd worked with Colin back in 2021, and they clicked right away. Colin's not only a great drummer, but he also plays guitar, bass, and produces music. It sounds like he's brought some fresh energy into the group, and while Rob's departure is a big shift, it looks like Colin is more than ready to fill those shoes. Brad Dowson unfortunately didn't show up for the live event either, and he's been unwell. Alex Fetter filled in on guitar for now. But fingers crossed Brad makes a full recovery and is back with the band soon. Now back to Emily Armstrong, in my opinion. Her debut live performance with Linkin Park was solid. I'd give it 7 out of 10. She's a fantastic singer with great pitch. And she can scream. Especially on the new single, The Emptiness Machine. Her screams sounded powerful and really fit the track. But when it comes to some of the older Linkin Park songs like Hybrid Theory and Meteora stuff, which, let's be honest, is my favorite era, her screams weren't flawless. There were a few moments where her voice cracked during the more aggressive parts. But to be fair, there's a clear difference in vocal range between Emily and Chester. The older songs were built around Chester's voice, which had this incredible ability to go from melodic to full-on screaming. Emily has her own style, and it's clear that the new material, like the Emptiness Machine, will be better suited for her strengths. So while the older tracks might not always showcase her at her best, I'm really excited to see how the new songs designed for her will bring out what she does best. You could also tell she was nervous during the performance. And I get it, the pressure of stepping into Chester's shoes is massive. Especially when his vocal style was so iconic. But we've got to give her more chances to settle in and really make her place in the band. From what we've seen so far, Emily is bringing her own style to Linkin Park. In the Billboard interview, she talked about how she's not trying to mimic Chester, but wants to carry on the emotion and passion he brought to the band. It's about balancing the technical aspects of the songs with the raw feelings they invoke, something fans have always loved. In a previous video, I mentioned that having a female lead could be a smart move for the band. It offers a chance to evolve and avoid constant comparisons to Chester. At least, that was the idea. But after seeing Emily on stage, the comparisons are still happening, and I think they're inevitable. As fans, it's just something we're going to have to navigate together. That being said, I don't think Emily's role is to replace Chester. No one can do that. She's helping Linkin Park evolve while keeping Chester's legacy alive. As the band enters this new chapter, we can expect exciting things ahead. Mike Shinoda mentioned in a Time interview that the new album title, From Zero, and the Zero symbol are both nods to the band's early days when they were called Zero. It's about going back to their roots while pushing forward into new territory. I'm really excited about what's coming next. I'm hoping From Zero has a heavier, more metal edge to it. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. So. That's the big update from Linkin Park. Emily Armstrong is stepping into the lead vocalist role, and I'm cautiously optimistic about where the band is headed. What do you all think? How do you feel about the new single? 
and the lineup changes, let me know in the comments. And if you're as curious as I am about what's coming next, hit that subscribe button and we'll go through this journey together. All right, that's it from me. Catch you next time.